Hi everybody, I'm Alex from the Synthesis Development Team, and today we're going to be going over a brand new tutorial series for our Fusion 360 add-in. Now, our Fusion 360 add-in allows you to take any robot model that's already jointed inside of Fusion 360 and export that to our Synthesis Simulation and Emulation Suite. Now, this add-in should have already been installed when you used our Synthesis installer from our website. If you have not already done that, please close Fusion and go to the link in the description below and go through the install process for Synthesis. Now, once you have that done and you open up Fusion 360, you should see the robot export guide greet you. This is a basic hello world guide for how to export your robot and go over each important step. However, we're going to be going over each of these steps in this tutorial series, so we can just go ahead and close this. Once you're done, we're going to go to the tools tab at the top of Fusion 360. Now, if you do not have this new tab to layout, make sure you have the latest Fusion 360 version installed. You can get this from the Fusion 360 website, also linked in the description below. Once you have this kind of tab to layout, go to tools. And then on the right hand side, you see these brand new buttons that are all related to our synthesis add-in. We use a left to right workflow inside of Synthesis. What this means is that when you're exporting a brand new robot, you should work through each button left to right with an exception to the settings button. We'll go over that in a bit. So you would start off with your drivetrain layout, your drivetrain weight, your joints, and then finish. We'll go over each of these sections in its own tutorial video. But for right now, we'll go into the settings option and view some of the Synthesis add-in settings. The first setting is the robot export guide checkbox. If you enable this and press OK, that will bring back that export guide that you saw at the beginning. So if you closed this earlier on and you wanted to refer back to some of the options here, you can go ahead and click Close. And if you go back to Settings, we have the Send Analytics checkbox. All this does is enable or disable the sending of anonymous analytics to the Synthesis development team to better enhance the tech that we develop. So if you don't want to send anonymous data, you can go ahead and disable this and it won't send any of your usage data back to Synthesis. However, if you don't mind, we highly would appreciate it if you do check this so we can better see how our software is being used and improve it in future versions. And the final, we have the finish button, which we'll go over in its own tutorial series. So once this is all set up, you're ready to go ahead and open up a robot model. So we'll just open up a basic Andy Mark drivetrain for this example. Inside, you should see this is a properly constructed and jointed robot. So each of these are their own components. And each of the wheels are properly jointed with Revolute joints. So if I go ahead and hover above a joint, you can click Animate. And as you can see, the wheel is spinning as desired. This is very important as all your mechanisms that we load are all based off of Fusion 360 joints. So before you even go into Synthesis, make sure your robot is all properly jointed so that way Synthesis can load all this data and then simulate it. Once your robot is properly jointed, you can go ahead and move on to the next tutorial video in which we'll cover drivetrain setup. Hope to see you there. See ya.